Is Tinubu losing his core supporters? Even some of the APC leaders know that this country is not working, that the Tinubu's template is not functioning. It's not working for Nigeria. Guess what? This man has come out to speak up. He is one of the core supporters of this government. But guess what? He can't hide his feelings anymore, Nigerians. You need to hear this. You see, Mr. President, there is... Most of us supported you because we knew, we know your antecedents. What you had done in Lagos. But you see, what you did in Lagos, you mobilized Lagosians to fix Lagos. Which is to be expected. What is more natural than that? However, you cannot mobilize Niger uh, Lagosians to fix Nigeria. You will have to mobilize Nigerians to fix Nigeria. So you cannot form a core of a team, okay, that is basically a Lagosian based team to fix Nigeria. It, 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 I mean, it does not, it's, it is mathematically incongruous. It's an incongruity. It is expected that you, you will mobilize a team of Lagosians to fix Lagos. But then, to that same extent, you will just have to mobilize a team of Nigerians to fix Nigeria. You see these Lagosians you brought with uh, you to uh, Abuja to help fix Nigeria. I mean, with respect, they are useless. Useless. Starting with that, your chief of staff, Femi Bajabi Amila, the most useless amongst them. You will have to dismantle this team. With respect, my president. You will have to dismantle it and rebuild a true, genuine Nigerian core. Core. It's not a, just a team of, in terms of appointment, there are these ministers. No, 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 no. Your core team must no longer be a Lagosian team. It must be a Nigerian team. Otherwise, we will just continue like this. Most of them are just interested in making money. They don't love you. They're not interested in your welfare. Your political welfare. They are not interested in Nigeria, in moving Nigeria forward. These guys have been parasiting you for decades. They, they, let me even use our Delta Palace. They don't parasite you rich. Discard them. So guys, this is going to be a very heartbreaking experience to Tinubu when he gets to see this kind of message, you know, being released by one of his core followers. I mean, this is one of the core believers of Tinubu and his ability to fix Nigeria. This man now has come out to make a U-turn saying that the template of Tinubu can never rescue Nigeria. Rather, it's going to worsen the situation of things. Nigerians, it will get to a point where even the APCs will begin to look for hiding place because the mess is too much. I mean, the mess is too much. Take a look. What is the ease of doing business currently in Nigeria? Businesses are folding. Companies are leaving Nigeria. So the issue is not about how many people remain on the streets. The issue is that, has the problem been solved? And it is unfortunate that President Bola Metinubu, who addressed the nation, could not address any of the things that these people have been on the streets protesting for. Not one was addressed. Not one. The hunger persists, the inflation persists, the economic difficulty persists, and a lot more. In fact, um, individual businesses, which is the private sector, which is supposed to be running our economy, has been crippled. How much do you buy diesel or fuel in order to, you know, solve the problems of your businesses around? So I think that we should be asking the government the right questions and not the citizens. If they cannot answer to our demands, then I'm afraid that this protest will continue. Concerning this protest, NA has raised issues, Victor has raised issues. Going forward, looking at government policies and the fact that the protesters are saying that the president didn't really address any of their 10-point demands. How do you think Nigeria should proceed on the side of the government and on the side of protesters? Okay, so if I could just quickly chip in a word regarding what uh, Madame Nehubi said, I think it's quite instructive. When Nigerian youth went to the Lekki Toll Gate, raising the Nigerian flag, singing the Nigerian anthem, they were shot at, they were killed, they were attacked, they were dehumanized. And now you are saying that 
those that are carrying Russian flag are not patriotic. <laughs> Do we have patriotic leaders in our country? Nigerian politicians have seceded from Nigeria. They don't believe in our country. That is why they go abroad to build their mansions. They go abroad for their health care. They send their children abroad. Mentally, they have seceded from the country. They, they just see Nigeria as a special purpose vehicle. So let us stop entertaining this nonsensical argument that, oh, it is only when citizens act in a certain way that they are not patriotic. We don't have patriotic politicians in, in Nigeria. We simply do not have. Now, regarding the, uh, regarding the demands of the protesters, what has the government done about it? Nothing. The president has not shown any understanding. He has not shown any indication that he understands what the protesters are saying. Right? What we see is still the same crude arrogance, the same lack of uh, appreciation of the gravity of the situation. He has not said anything to reverse his terrible economic policies. Because at the end of the day, no matter the argument that the government is making, no matter how convinced they are about their policies, how has it impacted on the population? How has the Nigerian people fared in the last one year? The reality is that the government's economic policies have been terrible. It has devastated the country. Our exchange rate is nothing to write home about. Inflation has gone drastically okay. up. Cost of basic goods and them. So if you, are, if you are interested in listening to what the producers are saying, you should look at reversing or reviewing those policies. How about reducing the cost of governance? President Tinubu said nothing. The killing of protesters, no action, no attempt at investigation. So you cannot continue to misrule people, to misgovern a, a country, and just expect that people will sit back and be clapping for you. The truth is that Nigerians are being pushed to the wall, and I am concerned because when people are protesting peacefully and you are attacking them, are you in, indirectly telling them that, no, you cannot listen to violence? Because it appears that that is the language that the Nigerian state understands. Yeah, just to confirm, you know, they say that accounts have been blocked. Have any of your accounts been blocked? Well, they blocked the account of uh, Take It Back movement. I would make it clear to, uh, as, as, as far as uh, last week, the, the UBA accounts of Take It Back were blocked by the government uh, through the UBA. So, and they have not uh, reopened it. So, I, I would imagine that that's what they are referring to, but that's a waste of time. Okay. We, are you also we, familiar with anyone else um, who may have had their accounts blocked, you know, and maybe seen as a sponsor of the protest? I'm, I'm not aware. I mean, if there's anybody in diaspora at this time that's funding or supporting this, I would imagine that uh, they won't be worried about that. The nature of uh, uh, money has uh, completely changed over the years. The banking system as we have it now uh, is a central system of uh, money transactions. But there's a, a lot of uh, other ways, digital ways, digital currencies that are in existence. So I keep saying that these guys live in the past. That's why they still do things the old way. Fire, burn to fire. Yes. Let Nibu come down. We are tired. Okay. My brother, let us see the reality. Tribu is a Yes. Let him go. Let us carry our, our fair price down. Cool no your time. You give our things for us. Very good. But since the APC government gone, everything spoiled. What happened now, Miss, uh, uh, Mr. President? So called Tribu. Until uh, 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 wait, wait. This man, where is he going? Obabio. It's the lost nonsense. The lost man. Let him protest. He has it. They shot chicken. Grand son. So, Obabio, Obabio, Tribu. All of them must go. I don't want to see them. Thank you. You want to say something? You want to say something? Yes, I want to say something about this country. Nigeria was a peaceful country where Jonathan was around. Now, now we are in Port Harcourt. We need peace. We need people to step down so that let there be peace in Nigeria. We are hungry. We are all hungry. We are the youth here. We are hungry. We need people to. Sofa. 
We run tired to suffer. No one suffer again. I run tired to suffer. Make them go. Ayo, ayo. What are on that? Tinubu has kept us under hunger. We are crying. We are suffering. Tinubu was a man who protested against first of the removal. 2012. He was a man who stood against bad governance. 1993. He joined Nadeko to fight military government. His government is now worse than military government. Tinubu is worse than Sani Apasha. He is worse than, uh, what is his name? Uh, Idi of Uganda. Tinubu has become an emperor, a dictator, a despot. Tinubu must go. He said he does not like Oga, but he's, giving, uh, he's inflicting us with honor, anger, and hardship. Under Tinubu's administration, people can no longer feed. People are dying of starvation. Malnutrition in the north. Even women cannot even breastfeed their child very well. Breast milk has dried up. Tinubu said subsidy is bad, but under his regime, subsidy is good. He has removed subsidy, yet he still pays subsidy. He is looting our, our treasury and keeping the people in abject poverty and penury, which is the worst stage of poverty. So he has to go out there. Stand tremendously as a result of the flotation of the currency. All right, that's one. Is that secondly, fault? Secondly, don't you know why Tang? I'm still asking my question. Secondly, Naira it's Tang been an all of your friends because it's been an all-time malaise in the economy as we speak. Uh, cost of living I, gone up I tremendously. All right, and things are really, really south for the economy. So, in all of this, it's been a sloppy downward spiral. What would you have to say? about all of this, Mr. Lapasa. Thank you very much for that question, Rufa Zeni. Please, uh, Dr. Ruben Abati and my, my adorable uh, 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 in-law, uh, Mrs. Myresi, does anybody have a more reasonable question for me to answer? Because I am not dignifying that insulting question from Rufa with a response. I am not. Mr. Lopez, I will see that you're bailing on my question, and it's all right. It's all right for you to bail out if you don't want to answer it. But I'm it's not evading right. your question. Listen, <laughs> Please Rufai, answer it if you can. Rufai, you listen, listen to me. This is not animal psychology. It is law. Okay? If you want to be a journalist, you can be a journalist. And you should learn the ropes for those ahead of you. Mr. Nogwaza, answer never my question. My mates. You can never. Mr. Nogwaza, okay. answer, answer okay. the question. Dignify yourself. Mr. Jegut says that dignify yourself and answer the question. Dignify yourself. Please, and can, answer we the have, question. can we have peace? Dignify can we, yourself and answer the question. Can we have peace in this studio? My God. Can we have what's, peace? What's wrong? Wrong with this badly brought up little boy. Mr. <laughs> Nogwaza, Mr. Nogwaza, respect me. Mr. Nogwaza, please, please calm down. Mr. Nogwaza, I didn't disrespect you for the last. I just asked the question. Please. Mr. Uh, no Dr. Bassi, let him answer the question. Me. Okay, do we and end this program better, now? Better than what of you that. will not allow me to talk? Do, should we end the program? Dr. No, Dr. there's a breakdown of law and order. Please, Dr. Bassi, go no, ahead. No, maybe we'll just ahead, end Dr. it. Dr. Well, no, we can end it. No. Go ahead, Dr. Let's go ahead, please. I'm appealing. Call for okay, we'll take a short break. Tunumbu is a worst president hey. in Nigeria. But he just started now. You can't call him the worst now. He just started now. You what? can see he's working now. He just started. What do you say? Jesus. Repeat. Jesus. Let's know if um, Baba will give us uh, what we want. Hello, Baba. Uh, good day. Uh, how are you? Fine. How are you doing, sir? Uh, yeah, Baba, please, I want to ask you some questions. I don't know if you care if my cameraman take a video record of our conversation. Uh, no problem, no problem. Okay. Uh, I want to ask you, which is the best president in Nigeria and which is the worst president in Nigeria we have? Ah, <laughs> this question always asks me, if funny. <laughs> is it <laughs> if funny? <laughs> All of us will know that. Yaradua is the best president. Okay, Yaradua. Yes, and then the second one is Tunumbu. Wait, I don't understand. Are you saying Tinubu is the best president and Yaradua is the worst president? Which one? I no, don't... no, 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 don't tell me that one. 
I, I don't understand. Tolumbu is a worst president hey. in Nigeria. But he just started now. You can't call him the worst now. He just started now. You but, can see he's working now. He just started. What do you say? Repeat. I say he just started now. You know he just start. He never, he can't judge. See me as I did. See my belly big like this now. Say I don't drive. Hey. If he don't, he say one year, he say you use one year, Abi. Uh, he use one year. Yeah. You don't chop this money. Uh, I never chop, but they fast. You they fast. Okay. When you, you fast finish, no be chop, you go chop. Uh, yeah. You think what they did? He said, I want to make you know, say, in your president, it was. For one year, we do. And then, one you four years old, we're not going to drive finish. No, but you vote them now. Yeah, say you vote them now. Hey, I vote them. I don't know, say now, so it go be. Hey, so you follow for what you put us for this thing? Hey, now, devil. Now, devil. Now, devil. What devil do you hold? Why they call devil? Devil is innocent. Hey, no, say devil and God, now you're waka. Anyone where you enter, now you go follow now. Now, wow. He surprised me. So that then you follow what you going to say Emilio Kong. <laughs> now so we see him. Emilio Kong, Emilio Kong. Now so we see him. Hey, so what can we do now to make him work? Uh, the thing we did there, we see. Let me go do farm. Mm, Baba, but you know, Tinubu promised us renew hope. So what do you think about that renew hope? He's going to renew Nigeria, revitalize Nigeria. Oh, where? Yeah. Not today. Not today. You know, say, I see Tinubu don't enter. He goes first, open sausage. Hmm. And from sausage, while I don't start for Nigeria. Hey. Gary, where would they chop? Now, big man, they chop him now. Say more good by, past Gary now. Uh -uh. Now, do I tell you, 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 you hear something for Nigeria, say anything will go up if they come down. My brother, me, I want Gakpao. Eh? I, I want Gakpao. Because as you see me like this, see body. See me. But, but why did Gakpao go? I don't understand. Though. Ah, they go Canada. Ah, ah. Now, now transfer the worry me. I mean, you go borrow me money. Canada, you? Yes. Can you walk? Ah, ah. See me now. Jump, jump. Let me see. Let me. Ah. Hey. Ah. Take, 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 ah. I beg. I beg. I know I'm kicking. I'll make you no fall. Fall for waiting. Ah, ah. Ah, you don't see me? Sorry, 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 sir. Sorry, sir. Eh? Ah, ah, oti, oti to, I beg. Ah, see it's me okay. See God me will help us. Ah, ah. God will help us. Thank I mean, you, sir. I mean. uh, thank you, sir. I, 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 I go, where, where I go see you again? Uh, no, no, no worry. I go call. I'll be the stay around here. Uh, now this, uh, 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 no worry, no uh, worry. I will, I will come. Okay, uh, okay. Take care, sir. Okay. You want to so guys, you have seen it for yourself. Every right-thinking Nigerian know that, you know, that this country is not moving forward. I mean, every right-thinking Nigerian understands that this government has finished this country. Anybody that feels he or she is boldly, you know, a Nigerian and you want to stand with Nigeria, you will see, even the APC members, they know that this country is not properly being, you know, being led by these leaders. Let's call them leaders. And things are not going rightly. That is what it what happens or what you get when you only choose people based on I know you you help me in election. You know, that is it. So Tinubu has ended up finishing this country because he wanted to uh, you know to a uh, kind of to pay back those who helped him during campaign. As for winning election, we know he didn't win this election. He didn't win this election. They are just making up because Einek announced him. And when Einek announces him, somebody, you cannot reverse it because the law gives Einek that power to declare whosoever the field that, that is the one that won the election. But going by the right figures that we have and how everything played out during the election, we know that Tinubu didn't win. So what we are just seeing him doing is trying to pay back people trying to pay back people, nothing else. And you see them raising their shoulder up as in, I will do this, nothing will happen. You saw what, what is happening in Abuja. Wike will tell you that he, he will build this uh, uh, road. He will build this project. He will do this. Even if Nigeria doesn't have money, he will build this and they keep borrowing, borrowing, building projects that will not even benefit the people. As it stands now, the most important thing that Nigeria has to be paying attention to is, is human capital development. That is the main thing because we have even graduates that graduated without knowing what they read in school. We have people that are out of school that have never visited school for the first time. We have people who are in school, but they want to read. But guess what? 
their parents are about withdrawing them from school because they lack money to, you know, keep funding their education. So we have all kinds of persons in Nigeria because of having the wrong leaders in places of power. And that is why this country keeps sliding. So guys, you have seen it for yourself that even the Tinubu man understands that this country is not being run properly. This country is not what it's supposed to be. And that is why every Nigerian has to learn his own voice. Learn your voice because... It is time to rescue this country. Tomorrow might be too late. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Thank you.